Hi everyone! I've gotten several emails with some continued confusion on the grouping for Hot Topics. I posted a kind of an FAQ earlier today, but I've gotten a few emails even since then. So what I want to do here is just show you what it looks like from one group's perspective. Uh, what you see on the screen here is the Hot Topic uh, article. There are several parts to this item in perusal. So this is one section here of article number one, okay, where you can see that the members of this group have each put some commentary in on the title to, uh, you know, describing what they think about it. And you can see the highlights here in different colors where each person has commented. Okay. See here, two different people commented on different parts of this paragraph. Uh, and then if we scroll back up, you can see going to the previous part shows us the beginning. It's the same for um, the whole group, the whole article, um, sorry, the whole assignment rather. And right now this group doesn't have very many comments up here, but the facilitator for article one has marked that they're going to do so. And they summarized uh, what they thought that the group felt about this article. So you don't have to find your group. Um, you don't have to kind of reach out to them via email or anything. Um, you don't really have to do anything outside of perusal. Um, so for example, here is the second article for the same group and you can see different students have commented on different parts of the article. So hopefully that will help some of you who are still a little confused on the grouping. Um, if you're just on that very first section that's the outline of the assignment and not seeing a lot of comments, it's likely just that you haven't had group members actually put entries up there on that portion yet, um, and they're still down in the articles discussing. So uh, just scroll down, click forward to the next part, um, and read through the articles. Um, if you want to read them and have perusal like side by side, the links are provided on Folio and at the beginning on that first page as well. So you can pull up the article uh, in one tab and have perusal open in the other and add in your comments if you want, whatever works for you there. Um, but this is where you're going to be seeing most of your classmates' comments. So for example, here's an article where this group hasn't commented very much yet, but we can see at least a few of them have commented here on the title and somebody has claimed that they'll be the facilitator for this article and there's kind of an ongoing discussion, um, just all right here in this comment thread. 